Hey everyone, last week I told you guys two facts and one lie. The lie was that I was never lost in Disneyland. I've actually never been lost before. I have, however, shared a bag with a friend even though we lived on two different continents. And once when Hank Green was visiting New York while I lived there, we had a YouTube gathering and he called John and asked if any of us wanted to talk to him on the phone. So I got to talk to John on the phone. As Felix requested, this week I'm gonna be teaching you guys step by step on how to get rid of a body. Step one, Give yourself the appropriate amount of time to freak out. I mean, assumably, since there's a body to get rid of, it's either you or someone in your close circle who's responsible for a body being there in the first place. Don't waste too much time on this part, though, because the longer you wait, the more likely it is that you're going to get caught. Step two, find a place or a way on how you're going to dispose the body. For example, use a TV show as inspiration. You could go all Breaking Bad and use acid to get rid of the body, though you should make sure that you don't use a bathtub and use the proper plastic casing instead so that the acid doesn't burn through it. Or you could choose from more of the relaxed misfits routes, for example, digging a hole under a flyover and burying the body there, or just sticking them in a freezer, or just dumping them in the middle of a lake. If you're going to go with one of those options, you better hope that you have the same luck that they did and hope that you don't get caught. If you can somehow manage to find a slayer, you could also use magic to trick her into thinking that she was the one who committed the crime so that it's no longer your problem and someone else has to worry about it. Step three, follow through with the plan. You've already gotten involved. There's no backing out now. You should also make sure that if this is a group thing, that there are no weak links in the group, someone who's likely to run off and ride out to the police to save their own ass. After the deed is done, make sure that everyone understands the whole take it to the grave concept so that you don't have someone running off and telling their significant other who just happens to be related to someone on the police force what you guys just did. Everyone keeps quiet, everyone stays happy. Well, except for the obvious. Step four, go to a therapist immediately. You just got rid of a body. I mean, no matter what the excuse is, that's still gonna be traumatic. You might as well jump the gun on this and start seeing a therapist before you have a mental breakdown. Now, tomorrow you guys are gonna learn about how to survive a zombie apocalypse if that ever happens.